So just a short video here on what is perhaps the most useful punctuation rule on the SAT reading and writing section. And that is that the period and the semicolon are going to be equivalent. Disclaimer, they're not equivalent when you're punctuating lists. I have a separate video about that. But here I'm talking about situations in which you're not punctuating lists. So what do I mean when I say they're equivalent? What I mean is this. When you have two answer choices, such as B and C here, or B and C here, or C and D here, those are going to have to both be incorrect. Why do they have to both be incorrect? Because they can't both be correct. And given that they're equivalent, if one were correct, the other would have to be correct. And again, they can't both be correct, so they're both going to have to be incorrect, right? OK, why is that the case from a grammatical perspective? Well, both the period and the semicolon are going to be used to connect two independent clauses, two things that could stand on their own as complete sentences. And the differences between them are just too subjective, too small to say that one of them could be correct and the other incorrect. And so again, when you see them both, they're both going to be incorrect. And that can be a big, big help because usually once you've gotten rid of those two, it's not going to be too hard to decide between the remaining two options. So here, for example, Earth's rotation rate means that measurements of time must be adjusted. Specifically, an extra leap second is added Whenever, this is, a, yeah, so this can be really helpful actually on a complicated sentence like this. Let's try it again. Specifically, an extra leap second, and I'm just going to ignore that because it's an interruption. An extra leap second is added whenever time based on the planet's rotation lags a full nine tenths of a second beyond time kept by precise atomic clocks. So it's a long stretch of words, and it might seem like it needs punctuation but it doesn't. I had actually just grabbed these examples without really looking too closely at them. So an extra leap second is added whenever this time lags behind this other time. So time based on the planet's rotation lags behind time kept by precise atomic clocks. Time kept by this means lags behind time kept by this other means or this other method. Yep, so no punctuation needed there. But certainly, even if you had to guess, you're going to have a lot better chance of guessing correctly from two options as opposed to four. And let's just look at these other two while we're at it. So the lifespans of rockfish vary greatly by species. For instance, the calico rockfish can survive a little over a decade while the rough-eye rockfish boasts a maximum lifespan of about two centuries. Yes, yes, yes. So that's going to be a comma. And here we could, you know, talk more about the colon, but I'll do that elsewhere. Basically, you're very, very rarely going to have a contrast word like while coming right after a colon. Uh, but in this case, there's no need for a colon. This can do one thing while the other one can do this other thing. This one can survive for a little over a decade while this other one can survive for about 200 years, two centuries. And then the last example in this little grouping here, we're just going to look at the second sentence because that's all this is going to be about, punctuation within the sentence. When viewed up close, the portraits reveal themselves to be quilts blank stitching barely visible among the thousands of pieces of printed microcut fabric. And here this one is actually somewhat tricky, but we're going to want to pick B and the reason is this. When we put the comma the, it's going to turn this portion into a a dependent clause. We could also refer to that as a modifier, an interruption. Maybe it's not a dependent clause. In any event, it's not an independent clause. And so what we have here is really the, the meat of our sentence is this portion. The portraits reveal themselves to be quilts. That is definitely an independent clause. The portion after it in blue, regardless of how we categorize it, can't stand on its own as a sentence. For that matter, neither could 
this if we said and the stitching barely visible and that really is the key thing here you don't want to go comma and dependent clause you either want to go comma and independent clause such as and the stitching is barely visible or comma and non-independent clause the stitching barely visible think of it like this the dog ran toward his owner comma his tail wagging frantically all along his meaning the dog's tail something like that but again the main idea of this video was just to emphasize this point about the period and the semicolon again things change if we're talking about punctuating a list but you'll be able to tell because that's a very different kind of question and again I'll link to that video in the notes below